The concern that many of their traditional attendees that I talked to was that they feel the AWS is leaving them behind for AI and they're not getting the innovation love uh, that they feel they should be getting. Uh, many of them complained to me that the number of uh, you know service refreshes and a, a number of service fixes that go out, they believe has slowed down. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. I haven't looked into that in detail, but they feel that way. And I think it's the fact that you know there's so much focus on the AI stuff, the traditional you know cloud computing stuff, storage databases, you know things that are running enterprises these days have largely been left behind, certainly in terms of focus. So many talked about moving away from AWS because of this. And so I heard a lot of people talking about moving to more of the smaller players, moving to the sovereign cloud providers, private cloud instances, things like that. Because if they're not getting the value from AWS that they feel they should be getting, then, you know, with the focus on AI and agentic AI, things like that, we're going to talk about that next, that if they're getting the short end of the stick and they may be moving to cheaper, you know, less name brand platforms. And I think many organizations are looking at that right now. So I'm going to break the announcements or the trends that I saw at AWS reInvent this week uh, into three buckets because, you know, uh, pretending, you know, it was all either genius or garbage, you know, I think would be dishonest. So first, the good, what AWS generally is doing right, and they are doing some things right. And so these are announcements that solve real problems, move the ball forward for enterprises and won't require a PhD in cloud psychology to adopt. And then second, the bad, uh, the parts that really are starting to concern me. You know, overreach, architectural gotchas, confusing product overlaps and signals that AWS uh, might be optimizing, you know, more marketing slides than I think customer realities that are out there. And finally, the ugly, and these are downright disturbing trends, you know, places where uh, lock-in is getting, you know, stickier, complexity is exploding, or AI story, or the AI story feels more like a casino bet than engineering decision. And we'll talk about that.